this is Raz, and we're gonna get started with the Wipeout tutorial. I'll be your host going through and through. <clears throat> so we start with the campaign mode, as we see here. Now you have Fury and HD. If you got HD, you have HD. If you have Fury, you'll have them both. When you go in, you'll see that you have um, a stage, a campaign event. This one's Uplift. Very simple enough. Right there, you'll see the nodes. As you unlock different, no as you beat each race, you get different nodes. Also, by changing the difficulty, you'll get to change the uh, type of trophy, you get, type of uh, medal you get. You want to try to go for the elite. Um, from there, you can just keep on scrolling. Now, you get the points achieved and the total points available. So, you see I'm maxing out the points. Same thing for Fury. The only difference is that they have a few extra events, which I don't think I've, I really got into here, so... To be out... To be almost truthful here, that's how that one turned out. I think I went to Racebox and did not, not decide to want to do that. So I take this time right now because I also did the same thing for online. We'll take a little bit of time here just to uh, get yourself acquainted with the game. Don't worry, everything's good. All right, here's where we get. Don't worry, everything's good. All right, here's where we get to start it. On the options, you can see the game menu. You got the camera. You got the screen size. You can raise it to 100 percent. I like to keep mine at 94, 96 ish. You get the multiplayer tags. Ghost ship visible. Now the auto assist allows you to assist your turning, and with the menu style, you also get to change it from HD. But that's only if you have HD and Fury. If you got the Fury add-on, so if you have HD, you'll have the HD HD one. Now the audio is of something very unique. This is one of the few games where you can actually have a custom soundtrack. As you want to see, I have my Fury found soundtrack right there, and you can put it random or sequential. I like mine sequential. I want to hear all the songs. Controls are exactly that. Controls, really, really much to say. You have your air brakes to, on the two back triggers. You actually accelerate your punch, your motion sensibility, sensitivity. Your air brake sensitivity as well. You can pitch and steer. It's it's really, you can really toy around with it to get the right feel you want. Take a look at the buttons I have right there. That's basically your default. Same with the second player. It's too much supported, but all that's great. Now this is just a gaming guide. I'm not gonna really get into the gaming guide, really. But you can read it on your own time, really. Now the features you have is you got a barrel roll, you got the pilot assist. Barrel rolling helps you get faster at a small price of what of energy. You have the side shifting, ship energy, absorbing, mag trips, loyalties, various other things. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna let the uh I'll just let the uh the uh, things hit up there. Now for recovery, you'll need to learn recovery fast. Photo modes, if you want to show off, you can have the photo mode. Again, you have your own custom music as long as they are MP3s or AACs, MP4s, and various other shit. You got that going. You have the volume level leveling, so you can ha have your own music match, whatever. You got bass boost. And here's where we start getting the speed classes. Venom is at the slowest speed. You basically get three laps. Flat. Flash is a little bit higher with four laps. So is Rapier, so is Fan Phantom is five is the most extreme. But again, I'm just scrolling down, not giving you the opportunity to uh, really see because I'm going to do that in another portion of the tutorial. Now here are the weapons. I think I decided to actually talk about them here. I think I stopped. Okay, let's get started. You have the autopilot, which basically you're, you're, you take your ship. With the shield, you become invulnerable to everything for a brief period of time. Turbo is self-explanatory. You can burst through the pack or whatever. Rocket shoots three rockets straight ahead, and if it's from close range, it does massive damage. Now, for a missile, you can get it locked on, or you can just shoot it instantly for a ricochet effect. It's actually pretty good. The cannon is one of the worst weapons around, but if you get thirty rounds, if you hit all thirty rounds, you get good stuff. Plasma is the best weapon, but it's hard to hit shit with. Quake is really much up there too, but it hits everything. It's like a blue shelf in this game. Leech Beam works in the tracking system similar to, uh, similar to, uh, damn, I'm not moving, I'm moving too fast. Then you have Mine and Bomb. Mine, you drop Mines, Bomb, you drop a Bomb. Pretty much so. Both of them slow you down. Now here's the race box. You got a single race where you do one race. Time trial is basically you go through three laps, whatever amount of laps. Speed lap is basically the burning lap over and over. Eliminator is exactly that, basically Mario Kart. 
Zone is something different, which I'll explain at another time. You got Zone Battle, which I'll explain at another time as well. Dead Meter, which I will have a tutorial for. And, and Tournament Mode, which Tournament... Yeah, Tournament's Tournament. It's basically single race with, well, with a bunch of races in succession. Now, with Zone Battle, basically, you do a zone, but a little bit different. With Detonator, you basically destroy bombs and mines on the field. And, of course, you got the tournament mode, like I said before. Now, I'll show you the online menu. On the online game, you'll see that there is... You, only get, you get limited here. You get Eliminator, Zone Battle, Single Race, and Tournament. When you want to join a game, you can just join in any of the games that are in progress, or people who are in the wait. Now, location, it depends on who you want to race. Do you the people from Europe is nasty. The Japanese is really good. The Americans are starting to get better. The people from my country starts to get a little better, so that's how that turns out. That's just your ELA. Always accept. Here's the break. Get, this, is, that break uh, this is just basically breaking news for the most part. And then the badges. Every time you finish a race, depending on what you did, you may get a badge. I got unbeatable, pacifist, I got a bunch of time to spare. I got comeback king once, actually, I was surprised. And you can just see the amount of badges you can go on. You also get to see a rank and the progress of your rank. I'm currently rank 25. So if you're 24 or lower, unless you're fucking Icarus players with good speed, you're probably going to get dusted by me and my Azagai crew, which, always lovely. Always good stuff. Ooh eating the oatmeal. So, 